our seats. Allow me to say I'm Samson Jehia and Christ is Lord in me. I'm not ashamed of the gospel like how the writer would say for it is power and the power to salvation. And so allow me to say that uh, last year we had a theme, be still and know that I am God. And now this year behold presenting everyone perfect in Christ Jesus. So today we have elections. People who are going to get into leadership, they are able to present every Christian around here perfect in Christ Jesus. So for them, they have to set an example that they are fit to lead others. We had had sessions for teaching in leadership. And so a leak up of some of the things that we learned in uh, the past teachings that we had is that every thing rises and falls in leadership. So we want this, our parish, this, our church to rise because everything uh, falls and rises in leadership. Another key thing is about choice, that it is the most powerful tool every individual has. So now we have the tool to choose, and it's the most, of course, the powerful tool. So we have to use that powerful tool that we have. We use it well for the glory of God. And the last one to remind you was human beings, they exist in a field of possibilities. But every choice opens our doors to opportunities or closes our doors to opportunities. This is why we have to choose wisely. Even in our country, Kenya, even in our marriage life, that human beings exist in a field full of opportunities. For girls and for men that are not married, you exist in a field full of opportunities. You have been given your eyes, you have good mind, you are able to choose because it's a field that is full of opportunities. We have opportunities. These are the people we have. We are in a field that is full of opportunities. It is up to us to choose. But our Lord Jesus has always told us something that is very, very, very important, that we take care of these souls. He has reminded people that if you would mislead one of these little ones, it would be better for you. Allow a milestone to be put around your neck, and of course that is it. So everyone who is to be, get into leadership has a responsibility. There is a song that says, Amen. That I may go after you, and at the end of it, I get life. We don't want anyone in leadership who has been called to fail to get to the mark, to get the life that we long for. So in the, in the second text, Jesus was asking Simon Peter, those people who are to get into leadership must love Jesus more than any other. Their level should be higher than other Christians. Their level of faith, their level of character must be higher than those others. Somebody said, in the light of the blind, a mono eye is the king. Is it? Yeah, in the light of the blind, a mono eye is the king. So we want to have a king who can lead and rule us. And so Jesus could tell him, Feed my lambs. I pose a question to the leadership that has been before we dissolve it. How many times did you go to care for the young ones in our children's classes? Did you attend to them? Feed my lambs. Did you ever attend to them? Were you concerned about them? Have you seen how men and women are dying of alcohol? 
what responsibility is on your shoulders to make sure that these people grow to be uh, to be to be responsible people they are also responsible about their lives this is what you are called for when i see people badai of such i also point at myself i have a finger pointing at me what is your responsibility suppose such people died in juja and this is why i'm happy for those who said the mission and evangelism the budget should lies because this is the mission of the church how many times you leaders when we go for the outside door ministry how many times do you follow us it's a challenge that i pose to you the other one is that take care of my ship this ship come here frightened they are wounded they are wanting and i have always challenged the leadership how many times do you come and sit like any other christian if you ever see a church elder sit like any other christian get to know that that is not a true church elder are you concerned how our sittings are how our christians are you must get concerned like for me when i go home of course i grace i cannot even enter into the house before i get to see how my cows and goats and hens are i can't because i am a shepherd you elders how many times do you come late and sit without caring how many times are our christians are in challenging situations and you don't care this is why the worst do you love me more than these others even when you come out of work and you're tired to show that you love more than these others others cannot go to care for the sheep they will say they are tired and get to sit but for you you love them more than these others you can take that extra mile to go and care for the sheep of god so it's a challenge for the leadership that's coming you don't come here to challenge anything you come here to take care of the sheep allow me to tell you today uh, i want us to think about acting honorably acting honorably i was happy the first time i sh i saw the men of juja they were they were their the, the t-shirts were written men of honor they are honorable men today in our first leading you could see the men of the people of shechem they were asked have you acted honorably that is in uh, judges 9 verse verse 16 verse 16 uh, i wish it's projected but of course i can read it verse 16 could say have you acted honorably and in good faith by making a miracle now if you have acted honorably that is okay it's a fashion but uh, i would have loved that other version uh, but of course have you acted honorably now juja people today are you going to show that you have acted honorably so it's a good story i wish you are able to read that story when you are quiet Jerubal is another name for Gideon. And Gideon was a judge. And Gideon, his time came for him to rest. During his reign, there was a lot of peace, I think, for 40 years. You can get down that from, the far, from chapter 8. And when his time came, now he had 70 sons. So Abimeleki was one of the 70 sons. And so Abimeleki went to the family of his mothers and the clansmen of the side of the mother and of course he asked them you can also project so that even as we go we are able to see yeah? so abimelech went and told the family of his mother's clan ask all the citizens of shechem which is better for you and today you also ask you which is better for you today so abimeleki told those clans from the mother's side from shechem go and tell the citizens which is better for you to have all the 70 of Jerub jerubal's son rule over you or just one man so is it the 70 sons of uh, gideon or one man to rule of course one man rules so the clan and the family were told so 
there was a disclaimer. He told them, remember, I am your flesh and blood. Remember, I am your flesh and blood. That is where politics starts. That is where politics starts. And that is what is even killing Kenya. Remember, I am your flesh and blood. We do not at times elect by the abilities, but we are inclined to who is he to me. And so you know what? This, these people, the brothers and the family on the clan, they went and they were kapiga siyasa na kafukanya campaign Shekem. That is for the three. When the blasters repeated this to the citizens of Shechem, they were inclined to follow Abimeleki. For they said, he is, our, he, he is related to us. So that was biasness. He said, he is related to us. In today's exercise of election, let there be no biasness. He is related to us. It's a sweet story. But so that I see it, this is where I want to say in verse uh, 16. Before verse 16, when he got into leadership, he was exalted. He was given gold and silver. And what he did when he was given silver and gold, what he did, he also had, he also had luckless people who, made, who he made their followers. That is verse 4. Verse 4, I think, if, if you're able to get to verse 4, they gave him 70 shekels of silver from the temple of Baal Barith. And Abimelech used it to hire luckless scoundrels who became his followers. When you choose a leader, who do that leader make to be his or her followers? You are able to judge that leader. And so he went to the father's home in Ophir. And on one stone, he murdered the 70 brothers. You know, when we choose and elect a bad leader, that is what such bad leaders do. This is what Abimelech did. He went, and with one stone, he killed all his brothers. But allow me to tell you, there is always a laminant. So a person called Jotham, and was the last born, was able to escape and hurt. Was able to escape and hurt. And so when he went to a mountain, he talked and he told the people of Shechem, hear you, and I give you an example. Trees wanted to have a leader. And when they wanted to have a leader, they went to olive tree, they went to fine tree, and to fig tree. These are the trees that they went to, requesting them to be their leader. And when they went to, the, to these people, these, I mean these trees, these trees were very honorable. They could not become the leader. Like for example, the olive tree answered, should I give up? That is first, could be first, could be first eight. Should I give up my olive by which both God and the human are honored? And sway over the trees? Yeah. And you go to the fig tree. The fig tree answered and said, Should I give up my wine, which cheers both God and human? So there are people here who have got, God has given them responsibilities and high responsibilities like this tree. If then God points at you, you should not give an excuse. But then, honor God by serving him. When they refused, when good people refused to get into leadership, I remember wakati tulikuwa usha, ushago, na tulikuwa tunaenda uchaguzi wa eitha minandani ama pale wakwa kahawa. Walevi wangekuja, wanateleta furugu, watu wa kristu ambao ni wazuri, wanasema sisi atutaki vita na nini, wanabaki, walevi wanachaguliwa. Watu wanaongozwa na walevi na watu ambao hawana nianzuri. Watu wanateseka so when good people refuse to get into leadership, listen to what happens. There is the bush, the, the thorn bush. So do you imagine the th they went to the thorn bush? It was their last hopeless choice. 
their last hopeless choice. So they went to the thorn bush. Would you become our leader? And this is where the thorn bush said, if then you agree, we have to make a covenant with you. You agree to take shade by, my, by myself. And could you imagine taking a shade at a, a thorn bush? <laughs> you can imagine. You can imagine. So where is there? Finally, the three said to the thorn bush, come and be our king. Thorn bush said, if you really want to anoint me king over you, come and take refuge in my shade. How, how can you take refuge in a shade of a thorn bush? So, but if not, then let fire come. So this is ruling through fire and arrogancy. But if not, then let fire come out of the thorn bush and consume the cedars of Lebanon. Those people who are great, wale watu walikuwa wanasema mimi sitaki uongozi, mimi niko na mahali pengine pa juu nimepewa. So they are also consumed by bad leadership. Even in the country, they are consumed by bad leadership. But then, this man reminded these people, now that you chose Abimereki, have you acted honorably and in good faith? So this is where we were saying, act honorably. Act honorably. As I finish, let me not go build there because of time now. What happened is those people who are chosen and they don't stick to the line of God and where God leads them, like what Abimelech did, this is what happened to them. So what does it say? That is verse 22. After Abimelech had governed Israel three years, three years, the father had governed for 40 years and there was a lot of peace. And so after Abimelech had governed Israel for three years, God stirred up animosity between Abimelech and the citizens. So that is what happened. And that is what happens also. So God stirred up animosity between Abimelech and the citizens. These are the citizens that had honored him. So have you acted on Labre? May the Lord help us so that even as we continue to, exercise, to do this exercise, we can also act on Labre in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.